go again. So I'm kind of just dragging my feet. They're procrastinating a while. You've never taken a while. It'd just be one of those. Hello YouTube Preppers, this is the Cobbs Prepper and what you just watched was a HF data connection between my radio here in Virginia and a radio in upstate New York. I do this for HF radio email using the SCS Pactor 4 or P4 Dragon modem. But what this video is about is the settings that I had to configure in the radio in order for my SCS Pactor 4 modem to communicate with the ICOM IC7200 and make those data connections. So what we're going to do is reset this radio to the factory default condition. I'm trying to work around the camera here, so you have to turn the radio off. Press and hold the band button and the 5 button at the same time, and then turn the radio back on. And that clears the radio out. So all the configurations in the radio are lost. Now I'm going to skip ahead real quick and come in here to the main menu and turn the backlight down so it shows up okay on the camera. The ICOM radio has two menus, the quick set mode and then the set mode. So we're going to go into the set mode, which has most of the features for the radio. And then the quick set mode sits above that, and that's the quick access menu, things that you need for operating the radio. So to get into the set mode, you press and hold the set button once. And this is the quick set mode. And then we're going to go ahead and hit that again. And that takes us into the lower level. What we're going to do here is set up the modulation source for the data. Now I have the SCS modem. I purchased a factory made cable from Farallon Electronics. I'll put a link down below that connects to the accessory jack on the back of the radio. My connection to the PC to the modem is actually a Bluetooth link, but you can also use a USB cable. We're going to use the memory channel knob here and rotate through the settings. And you can see all the different things you can set in the radio. We'll cover all these in future videos. But we're going to scroll through here to what we need specific to data communications using the SCS modem or any other external TNC or data device. So this is the modulation source. This is modulation for anything unrelated to data communications. Now what we want to set in here is data mod. And this is our digital modulation. You rotate the knob for these settings, and you can see here it's M for microphone, A for accessory jack in the back, which is what we want because the modem is connected to the accessory jack. And then in the case of a sound card, you can actually use the USB port. So we're going to go ahead and set that to accessory only and make sure we're not missing anything here as we scroll through here. As you can see, there's a lot of features in this radio that can all be adjusted. And we're back to backlight, so we're going to press and hold the set button. It takes us back out to the radio mode. We'll press and hold this again. And now we're looking at RF power. So when you're running data, you want to turn your power down so you don't overwork your radio. I typically lower the power at a minimum to 50% or 50 watts. This is a 100 watt radio. And then we're going to come over here to data on off. So we're going to rotate this to data on. Now this is in the upper sideband mode. Now what this is telling the radio is to push to talk and the modulation source is going to come from the back of the radio through the accessory jack. We'll go ahead and return to the radio mode here. And now I'm going to tune up a frequency. Here's something that took me a while to figure out. So we'll go down to the 40 meter band and listen to some traffic out there. Go ahead, frequency enter, 2250. We'll bring this out past that decimal point. Go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to turn the volume up so we have a little sound. We're going to go ahead and set the mode to lower sideband because that's what we use in the 40 meter band. And we're going to try to tune them in here. Now, here's what I noticed when I was going into the data mode. Watch what happens when I go into data mode here. You see how the filter got very tight on me? 
and I couldn't figure out what was happening here. The filter got very tight when I was in the data mode and the modem wasn't working and I was stepping through the filter modes here but it was still very tight and what I found is if you press and hold the filter button it allows you to adjust the skirt of the filter and I'm going to use some screenshot inserts here from the SCS modem but the SCS modem is looking for a minimum of 2400 kilohertz of bandwidth so what we'll do here is just adjust this knob out to 2400 so now the filter is set correctly when I'm in the data mode so it took me a while to figure this out why this was happening when I went to data mode you can see the little D there so now it sounds like it did when I wasn't in the data mode. You can still hear the guys talking in the background, but now when you go to data, the filter is now matching the bandwidth that the modem wants. So these were the settings I had to configure in the radio to get up and running with the SCS Pactor modem. And we'll go ahead and do another connection so you can see that take place. So just to recap, we came into the quick set modes, went down to the lower level, and set the modulation source for data to auxiliary. We came up here into the quick set mode, the higher level menu. We turned the power down to 50%. We turned the data on, so the modulation source was coming from the rear of the radio through the accessory jack. And then when we switched to data mode, we came in here and made sure the filter was correct. Now as a data mode, of course, we're going to run upper sideband for that. We'll have to go back in and turn data back on. And now we're in data mode. We'll check make sure the filter is 2400. The filter is good. So we'll go ahead and roll over to the computer and make a data connection. Okay, so we'll set our frequency. 710200. And that's that RMS station I use in the Catskill Mountains in New York. We have the software up and running. We're going to go ahead and hit the tuner so the tuner tunes. Make sure the power, the data is on and that the power is down to 50%. And it is. And we'll go ahead and initiate a connection with that station in New York. And there we have it. Digital communications over HF radio from Northern Virginia up to the Catskill Mountains in New York. We're hitting 1400 bit per second speeds on the modem. And I'll insert a screenshot to show you that. And with this data link, we can send and receive HF email and keep in contact with family and friends during an emergency or some kind of disaster. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with another video for the ICOM IC7200 playlist on the channel here showing the feature sets we had to configure in the radio to effectively communicate with an external TNC for data communication. Thanks for watching guys.